Okay, everybody, so we're going to start the soil lecture here, and we've already done the lab, so let's break down our understanding uh, of what we hopefully learned within our soil labs. So the formation of getting from solid rock to what we call soil, which is mature uh, soil, the longer it's gone away from its parent rock, the more mature it is. That involves the interaction among the parent material, climate organisms, time, and topography. Uh, Topsoil will take anywhere from 200 to 1,000 years to form. And the parent material that has all of those minerals trapped inside it until it gets broken down, it's useless. But the parent material gives soil its minerals. And here are a variety of the minerals that can be found trapped within this bedrock to then get weathered down into uh, soil and its soil properties. The components of soil make up a variety of things. It's not just sand, silt, or clay. There's 25% air. Basically, if you were to take a clump of soil, let's just hold a clump of dirt, so soil in our hand, there's a variety of things in that than just sand, silt, or clay. There's water trapped in it. You have mineral particles that we just mentioned earlier. And then you have the organic material, okay? Of that 5%, 80% of it is humus. We've the, we learned what that is. That's the dead organic material. You have roots in it, and you have uh, other organisms, microscopic organisms. Okay? So those are the components of soil. You don't want to think about just sand, silt, and clay or rocks. You want to think about the other items that go and make it up. The inorganic material, because that means it's not living, okay? That is the sand, silt, and clay portion of our uh, soil components. And we know that clay is the smallest. This is the largest medium, and this is the smallest. Uh, you have the particle sizes ranging in anywhere from uh, 0.5 in diameter to less than 0 0.002 in the form of clay. Remember, you can hold one grain of sand in your hand, but you can't hold one grain of clay uh, in your hand because it's the smallest diameter. And then you also have the organic components. That's the plants, animals, fungi, and microscopic organisms. Remember what Marcosi is? Okay, that is the bacteria that is found on the roots of the plants. Bacteria on plants. And does anybody remember what that bacteria helped the plants do? Convert nitrogen into usable forms for that particular plant. All right. So now moving on, we've got the components, okay? And then you've got the soil, you've got the humus component. That's a partially decomposed organic material found at the very top layer. And then you've got, we've got to take all those materials and bring them down through the layers of the soil. The first one is called alluviation, and this is the movement of material into the lower soil levels from the higher ones as a result of leaching. Your zone of alluviation is found within horizon B. That'll mean a little more when we get to the next slide, but the zone of alluviation is the collection of all of the parent of the uh, material that's uh, collected in horizon B equals horizon B. The deposits, that's the accumulation of minerals in the soil like gold or zinc or silver. And the leaching is the movement of water and dissolved material broken downward through the soil and it usually will collect all within zone B at the zone, horizon B at the zone of alleviation. Casting then is finally the bits of soil that are passed through the gut of the earthworm and deposited into the soil surface, part of the humus area. So here are your horizons, and I mentioned horizon B. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, your hor horizon O, this is your organic components right here. This is where your humus collects, okay? And then that leaches downward 
into horizon A and then finally into horizon B and this is the zone of alluviation and so here you've got the collection and here you've got the collection of the um, minerals and nutrients collect right here okay a lot of your roots this picture is not true a lot of your roots will extend into the zone of alluviation because this is where all of the good stuff is this is where the minerals and this is where the organic material uh, finally winds up collecting your your uh, minerals and nutrients and that's where that winds up going okay so your zones here are O which is organic that's the humus and then you've got uh, horizon A, which is where the organic material meets up with the stable non-organic material. And then that leaches and alluviates all the way down into horizon B here. And then horizon C on down, this is when you start getting into more solid material. And then finally into the bedrock, which is the soil forming um, parent material.